Hello everybody! So recently I see a video from a YouTuber with the name Nighthawk in light, which makes a lot of work on fireproofing materials and in his last video he was using some intercalated graphite as intumescent material. The intumescence is the material that expands when it's heated. Like if you heat some cornstarch, it will also start to form some carbon foam, for example. But like I said before, in the last video of Nighthawk in light he is using some intercalated graphite. The integrated graphite is really awesome and also really useful material by itself, because you can integrate graphite with many different materials. The basic integration process is done by using some strong acid and oxidizer, which the oxidizer will leave the edges of the graphite layers that the acid molecules can go between the layers of the graphite. But in the battery area, the integrated graphite can be used like negative active material. One good example is of course some lithium ion battery. The lithium ion battery uses graphite on the negative side of that cell. And when the lithium battery is charged, the lithium ions will intercalate into the layers of the graphite. But instead of lithium, you can also intercalate graphite with potassium or sodium ions for potassium or sodium ion battery. But in the end, when the intercalated graphite will be heated, then will expand and will increase in volume. But let's go back to fireproofing materials. So here in this video I will make and demonstrate some of the materials which are really easy to make and have the potential to be good for fireproofing. The basic materials for fireproofing or so called fire retardant materials which I will use in this video will be some sodium bicarbonate or baking soda and cornstarch. The sodium bicarbonate is really good because it will produce some carbon dioxide and water when it's heated. And when you heat some cornstarch, the cornstarch will form some carbon foam to protect the material which is below the foam. But instead of making some fireproofing paint out of this, I will go with a little bit different approach. Because I will soak some wool into sodium bicarbonate solution because of this comment. But I will also test some bricks which are made from plaster of Paris, cement, sodium bicarbonate and cornstarch. The first test I will make with the ceramic wool. The ceramic wool can already handle some high temperatures, but for this test I soak this ceramic wool into the solution of sodium bicarbonate, which I prepare with 100 ml of water and 30 grams of sodium bicarbonate. And when the ceramic wool was fully soaked into bicarbonate solution, I let it dry. And that's it. <laughs> really nice. In the second test, I make some brick out from plaster of Paris, cement, sodium bicarbonate and a little bit of water glass or sodium silicate. And in the end I also add some glass fiber mesh that the brick will not crack. So the quantities to make this brick are 4 spoons of plaster of Paris, 2 spoons of cement, 1 and half spoon of sodium bicarbonate and a little bit of sodium silicate, around 10 to 20 milliliters. And you will get something like this. So the thickness of this one is one centimeter.
And for the third test, I make some brick out from plaster for Paris, cement, and sodium bicarbonate. But this time I also add a little bit of cornstarch. And the quantities to make this brick are 4 spoons of pasta for Paris, 2 spoons of cement, 1 spoon of sodium bicarbonate and 1 and half spoon of cornstarch. And in the end I also put some glass fiber mesh into the brick that the brick will not crack. And that's it. In the end I can say that all three samples perform quite good, but the best material from these three samples was of course this ceramic wool, which was soaked into sodium bicarbonate solution. So guys, for now this will be enough about the fireproofing materials, and yeah, we see us in the next video. Bye.